the pandemic first hit in the spring of 2020, we had no idea how bad things would get for our kids. We didn't know that Democrats would shut down our schools, not just for a few weeks or months, but over a year. And now we're seeing the long-term damage this has done. While students in China were back in the classroom, our kids were stuck at home. And now they're struggling from mental illness and depression. They're behind in math and reading, and it all could have been avoided. But instead of really following the science when it was perfectly safe to reopen schools, people like Randy Weingarten, head of the American Federation of Teachers, fought to keep them closed. And now it's time to hold her accountable. She was in the hot seat today, testifying on Capitol Hill. The big question is, did her union influence the CDC when it came to COVID guidance for schools? Listen to this. Did the AFT first engage the CDC or did the CDC reach out to you? So what essentially happened, sir, was that we were talking to the Biden transition team. Did they reach out to you? Yes, the they reached out. No, the Biden transition team reached out to us. Okay. So when, when was the first time you engaged with CDC? Look, I'm 65 years old. I don't remember Me everything too. anymore. I'm sorry. So Randy doesn't remember much, but she did confirm that her union was in contact with the CDC. So what did they discuss? Did AFT ever provide suggested revisions to the CDC's operational strategy regarding school closures or reopenings? Did you suggest revisions to their operational strategy? What we suggested, sir, was ideas. Do you remember how many edits that you suggested? We suggested, we, we suggested concepts, sir. That's when we suggested that if there's a new variant, there should be a review. Chairman say that it, it, it's unusual for political union uh, to have such a role in, in scientific guidance process. <laughs> Randy says she simply followed the science when it came to opening schools. But is it just me or does it sound like Randy's union was the science? They called the shots. And let's not forget these schools got billions of dollars to safely reopen, but they didn't spend that money on COVID. Some of that money, that 15% that was spent from that 190 billion, it was not spent to reopen schools. It was spent for CRT, for implicit bias, for anti-racism training, for restorative justice programs. So you still, to this day, believe it was a good use of money to use that COVID that was supposed to be meant for reopening schools for, for CRT and other type well, of training. Well, Congresswoman, I, I don't, Gen we don't teach CRT in is elementary now, or middle schools. No CRT in schools? Come on, Randy, you're not fooling anybody. The only thing your union loves more than money is gender programs. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.